The chain rule is another rule used in differentiating functions, and the chain rule is something unlike product rule, quotient rule, and power rule in that you have to use chain rule in every problem. This isn't really a situation where you think to yourself, do I need to use chain rule for this problem? The chain rule is always in effect for every problem. Now, the, the way that it makes itself manifest in problems is if you have a composition of functions. So remember that a composition of functions, such as f of g of x, means that you have one function inside another. Now, this presents itself many ways algebraically, but first I'm going to go through the rule uh, just symbolically here. So if you have a composition f of g of x, and you want to take the derivative of this entire function, the chain rule states that you take the derivative of the outer function, you do f prime, you evaluate f prime at g of x still, so you don't change that, but then you have to multiply by the derivative of the, what was inside, g of x, which would then be g prime of x. So this process is what's called the chain rule. Now, let's look at an example of a function that can be considered a composition of functions. So for example, if we had the function 2x plus 1 to the fifth power, and we want to take the derivative of that function. Now, power rule states that our outer function the raising to the fifth power, we're going to do that derivative like normal. So we would still bring our 5 down. We have 2x plus 1. You leave the inside the same. We lower the power by 1. That's just doing the derivative of the outer function. Now our inner function here is 2x plus 1. We have to multiply by the derivative of that inner function, which is just 2. So our full derivative here is 10 times 2x plus 1 to the fourth power. Note that if the inner function has just a derivative of 1, then the chain rule, while still, is, uh, while still being in effect, doesn't really do anything to the problem. For example, even if you take one of your most basic functions, x squared. Now you evaluated this using the power rule. But even if you did the chain rule here, it will still work, of course. So, what is the outer function? You're squaring something. You bring the 2 down, leave the x, and lower the power by 1. You need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Now, our inside function here was just x. So, if you multiply by the derivative of x, the derivative of x is 1. And multiplying by 1 is unimportant here. So, this is why... Uh, that was actually there when you're doing the power rule, but you never really considered it because it was unnecessary. But that just show, goes to show you that the chain rule really does work in every situation. So anytime you have a composition of functions, you definitely are going to have to do the chain rule, and in fact it applies to all functions.